On day one, I spawned in as a baby elemental cyclops. I looked around and quickly noticed that my home was destroyed. What is going on? My baby boy, you are elemental. Oh my. He's special, darling. He must leave at once. Before. Before what? Just then, a crow landed far in front of us and transformed into something else. Your souls are mine, you filthy cyclops. The Death Reaper, he's back. Manny, take my son at once. You know how special he is. The Death Reaper cannot get him. Yes, sir. Let's go, little one. Now. But my parents. Before I could do anything, I watched as both of my parents ran straight into battle with the Death Reaper. They did what they could to fight him off, but he was clearly stronger. With one special scythe attack, he fully absorbed their souls and turned them into stone. No! Bozo, follow me now! On day two, I was being escorted throughout a creepy cavern with my Minotaur bodyguard. We could hear the sounds of rumbling and death laughing off in the distance. We must keep moving. Why is all of this happening? Why did my parents turn into stone? I don't have all the answers, but I am taking you to someone who does. Just then, we exited the cavernous tunnel, but were met with an army of evil spirits. The elemental cyclops. Death will be pleased to know that you are dead. Oh no. On day three, the evil spirits charged in and tried to attack us. Ah! I did my best to try and fight back, but quickly realized I had no elemental powers. This sucks. The evil spirits were easily starting to overpower us with their death-like abilities. Ah! Oh, oh. Listen to me. Run away as far as you can now. What? I can't just leave you. Just as I finished my sentence, the entire area was filled with a bright white light that dissolved all of the evil spirits. Whoa. A lady then slowly hovered to the ground. Who are you? I am the goddess of life. Now, we must move quickly. Death will have noticed that blast. But I... Don't worry, little one. Soon, all will be revealed. Now, come with me. Okay, let's go. On day four, the goddess guided me deep throughout a forest until we reached a wall heavily covered in vines. She went inside and I followed right after her. It wasn't long until we reached inside of a large hidden garden oasis. Whoa, I saw something on a pedestal nearby. What is that? Listen, young one, the Death Reaper is a very powerful god who has become driven by power and anger. Turning people into stone allows him to steal their life spirit, which, in turn, makes him stronger. Why? Why is he doing this? He has his reasons, but not even I am strong enough to take him on. It has been said, the one who wields the elements shall be our only hope. And that person is me? The goddess signaled me to pick up the weird earth item before us. I did, and because of this, my body began to change. I grew in size and gained five more hearts. I also noticed that I now held the powers of the earth element. Whoa, now that is what I'm talking about. I am still unsure why the elements chose a cyclops of all people. But the elements always have a reason. It is up to you to find the rest of the elemental items of fire, lightning, water, and ice. You must be your strongest to take on death. My strongest? I... I will try. I promise. On day five, I was making my way back home when I saw Manny? There you are. Take this. He used incredible moves and was able to slam an evil spirit down with his large axe. Whoa. More of them, though, started to close in. Oh, no. Help. I charged in and used my newly found earth element to my advantage. I was able to pick up the world around me and summon earth shrines from below. Take this. With the use of my ability, the last evil spirit was down. <sighs> Hey, thanks for the help, Bozo. That seems like it's the rest of them. Our home should be safe again. Both of us then walked back into our old village, but everything was destroyed. The only thing that was left were both of my parents' statues right in the center. I can't believe they're gone. Yeah, me neither. Your parents were something else, Fozo. 
I promised them, and I even promised you, I will do everything in my power to keep you safe from the Death Reaper. Thank you, Manny. Don't worry. We will make things right together. On day six, both Manny and I went to work on building up our outpost once again. Manny would clean up the area while I went out searching and was able to find some iron left over in a chest. With it, I was able to make myself a set of iron tools. Sweet! I then built up the foundations of our new homes. Cyclopses are pretty crafty. And done! I think both of these homes are perfect! Pozo, I think you'd want to see this. See what? I walked over and Manny was there, standing in front of a creepy tunnel that led straight underground. The two of us were suspicious and slowly made our way down until we reached an operation room. Whoa. This has your parents written all over it. Far off on the other side of the room was a map that held five different colored icons and the green one was complete. Wait a minute. These are your elements, Fozo. This map holds the location of where each one resides. The rest aren't filled out, though. But from what it seems like, the fire element is the closest. So, I guess that is where I'm gonna start. On day seven, Manny and I were in search of the fire element, but were quickly stopped when... <laughs> Something is wrong. Run! Both Manny and I started to run as fast as we could, with the ground shaking all around us. What's going on? Uh, where are you guys going? Out of nowhere, the entire area turned into stone, as well as the villagers. Oh no, that only means... <laughs> yes, yes, my death spreading by the minute. You! You took my parents away from me! I will stop at nothing to stop you! You look familiar. Ah, yes. The elemental Cyclops. You think you can stop death itself? I will stop at nothing until this world and the mortal creatures within it are encased in stone. Then with their souls, I will be the god of gods. Wait! The Death Reaper then used his scythe and shot out a very powerful attack at me. Ah! From that one hit alone, I was down to one heart. Remember this. I could kill you just like your parents. Stay out of my way! How am I going to stop death if he's that powerful? Just then, I looked past where death was standing and saw another building out in the distance. Come on, it's worth a look. On day eight, Manny and I made our way slowly inside the forge, but something seemed off. Why is there no light or better yet, no lava? Just then, I got knocked on the head from behind by a wrench. Ah, what the? You two intruders better get out of here before this tiny goblin starts throwing hands. Whoa, calm down. We don't mean any harm. I then turned around and spotted a strange item. What is that over there? Ah, I see you're here for my fire element. Well, just like my entire forge here, it's dead. Dead? But how? The goblin then brought us into his engine room, and just like he said, everything was turned off. About a week ago, my forge's basement went shaking up like a storm, which caused my whole place to turn off. I've been too scared to see why. If I turn it on, is there any way I can keep that fire element? Hmm... Deal. On days 9 to 10, we traveled deep below the goblin's forge until we finally entered his basement. On the other side of it was an empty power source. What could have taken all of that energy? I think that answered your question. This lava, this energy is mine. Not if we have anything to say about it. The beast got angry and charged in. It had insane cat-like reflexes and used its brute strength to his advantage. Thankfully, though, Manny and I were both putting up a fight, working side by side. That was until he got hit extremely hard and sent across the room. Manny! Ah! Out of anger, I started a fight harder, using my earth element out of pure instinct now. I hit the beast block after block 
And with one final hit, he went down. Yes! Because of this, the power source transferred from the defeated beast back into the forge. Sweet! On days 11 to 12, Manny and I made our way back to the forge. And to our surprise, the entire place was online now. Whoa, this place is awesome. You, my two favorite new stranger weirdos. You did it. You saved my forge. <laughs> Look at it. I looked over and the once burnt out fire element was now fully alive. Yes. Go ahead. Take it. You deserve it. I'm going to go make a bunch of random pickaxes now. Woo! From there, I went over and picked it up, causing my body to change. I grew more in size, gained five more hearts, and now could feel the fire elements coursing through my veins. I stepped outside and shot my fire element, allowing me to explode large bursts of fire from the floor. Awesome! Great job, Fozo. On days 13 to 14, I could tell that something was wrong with Manny as we were making our way back to base. <coughs> Great job, Fozo. That Death Reaper should be scared of us now. He was exhausted and so weak from our fight with the Fire Beast. Uh, Manny? Come on, you need help right now. I brought him back home to our base and let him rest. But as soon as he laid on the bed, I can see that fire cracks had spread throughout his skin. What? What is wrong with him? I see you've progressed even more, young one. Y you, uh, my friend, he's hurt. We need your help. I quickly brought the goddess over to Manny and she agreed that he didn't look so good. Oh, my dear Minotaur guardian. Fire element has caused your very blood to boil. His blood what? It's okay, Fozo. It could be fatal, but there is a cure. A flower that grows at the top of waterfalls called the blood flow flower. I swear I saw one around here on the cliff nearby. Now go and retrieve it for me, if you would, and then I can save him. All right, goddess, I'm on it. On days 15 to 16, I went out in search of the blood flow flower. Come on, come on, where is it? It didn't take long until I heard the sounds of water crashing down. Then I spotted the flower sitting high up on a ledge above a waterfall. Bingo. I made my way up the mountain slowly but surely and was finally able to make it to the top. I walked up to the flower and almost grabbed it. But just then I heard a voice shout from behind me. Hey, hey, hey! Just what do you think you're doing in my new home? Taking my flower! What the? Uh, who are you? None of your business, pal! The small man then started to attack me with poison darts! Ah! Knock it off! No way! First, the Death Reaper just walks into my old place doing whatever he wants, and now I got a one-eyed buffoon to deal with? Wait, did you say Death Reaper? The little person then stepped back and shot me with a huge wave of electricity. Ah! This caused me to get so frustrated. Because of this, I shot fire directly out of my eyeball. Take this. It hit the masked creature and stunned him. Whoa, I could do that? Ouch! Okay, I'm sorry, all right? I'm just scared. My home, my beautiful lightning jungle. It was taken from me. Lightning jungle, huh? You guys must be tied in with the lightning element. Look, if you let me take this flower, I will go with you and help you get your home back. Oh, certainly. <laughs> I am Thunder Speaker Quake. Nice to meet you. I then went over and grabbed the blood flow flower. Hang on, Manny. We're coming. On days 17 to 18, I quickly made my way back to base and gave Manny the flower. Feel better soon, pal. From there, I set off with Quake throughout the land. It took a while, but we finally were able to arrive at the lightning jungle. Whoa, there was lightning shooting everywhere throughout the shoreline. What's wrong with this place again? The Death Reaper came by this place and absolutely ruined it. Now let the lightning dragon lord explain the rest. I'm sorry, did you say lightning dragon? Quake then lifted his head to the sky and shouted, Let thunder hear me and lightning show the way! Then, in a flash of bright light and with a crash of thunder, a lightning bridge appeared before us. Ooh, I'm glad they heard me this time. Come on, Bozo. 
stay close. On days 19 to 21, Quake led me throughout the brush of the jungle until we were met by a wide passageway leading straight to an abandoned temple. Harry, we shouldn't be out here. We entered inside and throughout the area were loads of more masked worshippers. Quake finally led me to a large opening looking over the jungle and standing there was a massive dragon, but he was encased in stone. Quake, why do you bother me in my time of thought? I'm sorry, my lord, but this Cyclops here, he's offered his help against the Death Reaper. Yes, your majesty, I am Fozo. As a dragon lord, I know who you are and what you seek for my element. Just then, a lightning bolt blasted down, revealing the lightning element. Whoa! I shall give you the lightning element, but on one condition. You save my home from the Death Reaper's grip. How am I supposed to do that? The dragon then brought me over to a vantage point, and far off in the distance, there was a large and deadly looking pillar. The Death Pillar is what's killing my land. My people are what has forced me to take this stone-like weak form. If you go and destroy it, perhaps we could talk about the element of lightning. On days 22 to 26, I was making my way through the jungle towards the pillar of death. As I was moving through the trees, I began to see the nearby environment transform into stone. Then, I came into a clearing where all of the life was drained away, and the large pillar of death was there, standing in the middle. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, the Death Reaper himself flew down in front of me. Oh, what do we have here? The Cyclops baby, thinking he's all grown up. You! I did my best and immediately tried to fight him, but every time I would attack, he vanished! Ah! Why? Why are you doing this to the jungle? I have so much to gain, Fozo, from eliminating my strongest rival, the Lightning Dragon, stealing the souls of all his puny worshippers. You are all below me, so much so I won't even waste my time on you. From there, the Death Reaper swung his scythe and created a rift that spawned a large undead beast. Kill him and don't let him escape. The Death Reaper left, leaving the undead creature charging directly towards me. On days 27 to 29, I began to fight the undead beast. I tried to use my fire element on him as best as I could, but it barely seemed to phase him. Their strength was unlike anything I had ever seen before. That's when I looked at the pillar and realized its presence was empowering him. I need to destroy it. Ha! I shot a massive block of my earth element at the pillar, causing a huge chunk of it to crash off. Come on, just one more. With one final hit, I was able to send the pillar falling down, destroying it completely. Yes! Suddenly, the jungle around us started to come back to life. I did it! No! No! The undead creature then charged towards me with all of its remaining strength. Oh no! Through my scream, I heard a loud crack of thunder as a giant bolt of lightning struck down the creature before it could reach me. What the? I turned around, only to see the powerful lightning dragon now returned to his full glory. Whoa! Thanks! No, thank you, folks. You have done what I asked. Now to honor our agreement, I will give you the lightning element. Follow me. On days 30 to 32, I followed the lightning dragon as he flew overhead, leading me back to their giant temple. To my surprise though, the entire build changed. It felt so much more alive. He brought me all the way to the top on the roof, and out of nowhere, it started to storm around us. Uh, isn't this a little unsafe? This is what you have to do to gain mastery over the lightning element as I have. Well, if it means I'll be anywhere near as powerful as you, it'll be worth it. Bring it on! For this trial, you have to not succumb to the lightning, but embrace it now. 
Pick it up. Okay, here goes nothing out of nowhere. The storm clouds above us cracked with electrical energy and massive thunderbolts struck down around me. Ah, what's going on? My health was getting super low and I thought I was gonna die. Wait, how do I embrace it? Let it flow through you, Fozo. Control it and don't fear it. All right, Fozo, control. Don't let the fear control you. The lightning bolt struck me, and for a moment, I thought I would pass out. But I stood strong and felt the elements empowering me. I gained five more hearts, and now I could summon lightning dragon breath at will. You have done it. You have mastered the element of lightning. On days 33 to 35, I arrived back at base, energized by my new powers. Fozo! I looked over and saw Manny fully healed up now. Manny, thank goodness you're okay! I feel great thanks to you. It looks like you've gotten even stronger yourself. Your parents would be proud. Thanks, Manny. Just then, something hit me. If I was able to free the lightning dragon from his stone prison, does that mean I could free my parents too? If that's the case, then we better fortify the base. We gotta keep their statues safe from any threats. That's a great idea. From there, I went out and got enough materials to build up tall and thick walls to defend our base. That Death Reaper and his forces are not going to barge in here easily again. I then went out to the nearby shores, searching for more materials. But suddenly, I felt something heavy hit me on the back of my head. Ow! What was that? My vision started to become really blurry, and I passed out. On days 36 to 39, I woke up in a small room in a cage. Ah, my head. Am I in a prison? Just then, a skeletal pirate came into the room I was being held in. What am I doing here? Oh, hey, you're finally awake. Let me explain. No, let me out. I then used my new lightning element to blast my cage, breaking the front of it wide open. Uh-oh, he's a strong one. Oh no, Captain. Captain? The pirate ran out of the room, back the way he came. Hey, get back here. I followed him, sprinting out onto the deck of a ship in the middle of an ocean. Uh, where am I? Ahoy! Seems our little one-eyed stowaway is awake. I turn towards the top of the deck to see the captain of the ship writhing from his face. On days 40 to 44, I was face to face with the pirate captain. Who are you and what am I doing here? I'm sorry, landlubber. My boys thought that with the current Reaper situation limiting the amount of resources to steal, that we should try and sell you off. But I told them that you are our only chance of getting to all our lovely resources once again after death is defeated. Ain't that right, boys? Yes, sir. We were so sorry. Yeah, real, real sorry. Please don't shock us and kill us and stuff. I'm not going to hurt you, as long as you promise to return me back home. Oh, we promise. Yeah, pinky swear it. What? You don't even have a pinky, you idiot. Whoa, whoa, Fozo. Us pirates are the master of the oceans and seas. Why bring you home when we can instead bring you straight to the water element you desperately seek? Wait, you know where the water element is? Precisely. If you promise to take down the Death Reaper so we can reclaim all our beautiful resources, then we'll bring you straight to it. On days 45 to 47, I sailed far off with the pirates until we reached a tropical looking island. All right, Fozo, here you are. If I'm not mistaken, I think I know of an underwater cavern deep below us. Be careful. The path be dangerous. I've heard that before. Here goes nothing. I jumped into the water, swimming down as fast as I could. But the ocean floor felt like it just kept getting farther and farther away. Finally, I managed to reach the entrance of a cave. And to my surprise, it was fully hollowed out. Huh. Thank goodness that's over. I looked around at my new surroundings, and the small cave was mostly empty, except for a pool of dark black water at its center. Is the water element down 
there? I walked towards the pool and looked down into it. Its water seemed sludgy, and it was nothing but a shallow puddle. Well, I'm not fitting in there. I guess it's time to... But as I turned around, I felt something made of liquid grabbing me from behind. Oh, no! Ah! Well done, my boy. Only two more to go. Well... I never thought I'd see the day that a goddess would be friends with such disgusting creatures. You, if you think they're filth, then what does it say about your decisions? <laughs> Silence! I heard the Cyclops has gained yet another element. Where is he? I will never tell you what you are doing to this world, to the people in it. All gods are ashamed of you. Do you think I care? This is the first time they have ever viewed me as more than just a second thought. If you are disappointed, then so be it. On days 53 to 56, I was struggling for air and couldn't see anything. Ah! I can't die! Not now! I was starting to panic because I thought I was going to drown. But then I realized I wasn't losing any hearts? What's going on? I started to calm down, but I couldn't see far. Then appearing in front of me out of the darkness was a large serpent. Forza. Uh, who are you? I knew you would come. I'm glad you've made it. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna eat me? No, Fozo, calm down. My serpent form and the deep ocean may seem scary to me, but everything in this world is not what it seems. What are you saying, water serpent? You are the elemental Cyclops, and you will need all of the elements to stop the Death Reaper. But who is to say you won't become the next tyrant if I give you the element of water? If you give me the element of water, I will use it to save my friends by defeating the Death Reaper and then freeing my parents. Then heed my trial, where only the truth will earn you what you seek. On days 57 to 59, I was face to face with the water serpent in the cave above the dark waters. So, Fozo, you say that you seek three things, but what if all of this power will only allow you to accomplish one? What? What do you mean? You must choose, Fozo. You are given one chance and only one life. Will you save the people of this world out of selflessness? Your friends and family out of love? Or strictly kill the Death Reaper out of just your revenge? How am I supposed to just choose one? I started this whole journey wanting to save my parents. But Manny and the Goddess deserve to live too. But if I kill the Reaper, they'll all be safe anyways. Choose, Fozo! And speak with truth or you have no right to control the element of water. I, uh, I choose the world. I choose to save the world. You choose to save people who you don't even know? Yes, that's my choice. If any person that has the power that I do should always think about those who don't. Excellent. You have made the right choice. The entire cave then started to shake, and with a huge water explosion, there lied the water element. I did it! I went and picked it up, causing me to feel more powerful. I gained five more hearts, and now I could shoot out an explosive water beam at will. Sweet! Your decision spoke truth from your heart, Bozo. And with that kind of heart, just maybe you will be able to accomplish all three of the things you seek. On days 60 to 63, I swam up from the underwater cave as quickly as I could. But when I reached the pirate ship, I noticed that they were under attack. Oh, get back, demon. Back. Oh, so hurry. We need your help. The captain's crew was overrun by the Reaper's death spirits. Hold on. With my new water ability, I was able to spring up out of the water quickly and land on the deck of the ship. Kill the Cyclops! He is a threat to our mission! I then used the water element to spray down the Death Spirits as they try to attack me and the crew. Take this! Oh, uh, never mind. Fall back! 
all of the remaining spirits then ran away as I successfully scared them off with my new powers. Awesome! Yeah, and you tell that cloaked pile of bones there's more where that came from. Hey, aren't we technically a pile of bones too? Zip it, you scallywags! Start cleaning up this mess so we can get out of here! Forzo, guessing you got the goods? Yes, I did, Captain. Thank you again. Now, can you take me home? On day 64 to 68, the pirates dropped me off as close as they could to my base. But out of nowhere, I heard the loud sounds of battle in the sky above. What's going on? I reached an opening and looked up to see the goddess and the death reaper locked in a battle. The goddess wasn't looking good. Oh no, stay alive, I'm on my way. Bozo, wait, you're still not strong enough yet. No, please, I can help. I ran up to the highest part of my base and started to use all of my elemental powers to strike out at the death reaper. But he was still so strong. They seemed like they were doing nothing to him. Listen to your goddess, filth. You are nothing compared to my power, no matter what elements you master. <laughs> the reaper slashed his scythe towards me, and the dark energy came flying down, knocking me back. Ah! Ozo! I feel so weak. Up in the sky, the goddess of life started to charge a bright light. And what do you think you're doing? using the rest of my power to rid you of this place. Now be gone! The goddess released a large blast that was so powerful that it nearly blinded me all the way on the ground. On day 69 to 73, I regained my vision, only to see the Death Reaper was gone, and the goddess of life slowly walking her way towards us. Goddess, are you, are you okay? I'll be fine, knowing that you two will be able to take on the Death Reaper without me now. Wait, did you say without you? What are you talking about? I used all the light I had to send him away from us. That should buy you enough time to go get the last element of ice, Bozo. Then you should be strong enough to free those imprisoned. The goddess looked like all of her life energy was fading fast. I promise we're gonna stop the reaper for you. You can count on us. Don't think of doing it for me. Do it for the lives of the people. That's what I live for. The goddess of life's body then faded away. No! No! It's okay, Fozo. She believed in you. If anyone can do this, it's you. On day 74 to 77, me and Manny made sure to give thanks to the goddess of life by building her a memorial right at the top of our base. We will miss you, but we won't let you down. From there, I headed straight inside of our operation room, only to see our map again now was filled out completely with all but one element, the ice element. One more to go. I stormed out of my base, heading for the freezing tundra. The air here was really cold and felt like it was weighing me down, but I had to fight through it. Just then, I heard a loud scream coming from nearby. What the? It sounds like it's coming from this way. On days 78 to 80, I looked around the freezing tundra to see a fur-coated baby villager being chased by a frozen ghoul. Please stop! Stop! You're scaring me! I ran over and started to blast the ice creature with my fire element. No, no, no! That'll only make him angrier! What? I looked back at the ghoul and saw it charging at me in rage. All right, stay back! I hit it with my lightning element, which completely blew it up. Whoa, what was that? Are you okay? I'm okay, but my people aren't. We were just about to pack up camp when the spirits started combining with the snow all around us and attacked. Okay, calm down. I think I can help. Thank you. I think while I was running away, everyone else went into hiding at our camp. Come on, I'll show you. On days 81 to 85, I followed the baby villager to see where its people camped. But the place felt barren with no one around. Hello? Hello? Shh, 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 shh. Everyone is hiding because of her. As Ronnie finished talking, the air around us all started to chill and snow started to fall. Her? Oh no, she's back. 
Hurry! We need to find my father! He'll know what to do! I followed the baby villager around his people's tents, where I began to see more villagers hiding away inside. Oh, this sucks, man! It sucks so bad! Shut it, Gerald! It didn't take long until we finally found Ronnie's father overlooking their camp. My boy, thank goodness you are okay. Hey, what's going on? Just then, a loud, maniacal laugh echoed through the sky. An evil ice witch spirit has started to harm our home using none other than the ice element. Please, Cyclops, we need your help. Wait, did you say they have the ice element? I then looked far off into the distance, and waiting on top of the highest mountain was a giant evil ice wraith. Oh no. On days 86 to 90, I made my way up the large mountain, finally confronting the ice wraith. So, you think you can stop me? You are nothing but a cyclops. I think you forgot the elemental part. Why? Why haunt these people? Because the Death Reaper is right. Everyone in these realms shall perish. With them gone, I can live in these lands by myself, in peace. Wait, you're siding with death? She screamed and started to blast down at me with shards of ice. Ah! Stop! My hearts were getting very low. You are supposed to stop death? <laughs> you don't stand a chance. I thought back on my parents and knew that I couldn't lose. I can't. I threw a ball of rock from the mountain that stopped a barrage of ice shards. While she was stunned, I used my lightning element to strike her again and again. Take this! I then unleashed blasts of fire, destroying the ice wraith. I did it! As she vanished, the ice element fell from her spirit form. I grabbed it, causing me to grow in size once more. I gained 10 more hearts, and now I could control ice by raining down ice shards from the sky. Yes! I am now fully elemental. On days 91 to 94, I quickly returned to base and met Manny at my parents' statue. Bonzo, you did it! Do you really think this will work to free your parents? Then you should be strong enough to free those imprisoned. I'm not sure, but I have to try. I stood in between my parents and focused. Come on, you can do this! I used all of my elemental powers at once, pouring all of my power into their statues. This caused a huge flash which made my parents' skin turn back into flesh. Mom! Dad! Bozo! Bozo! Oh, son, we are so proud of you. We knew you were special. I couldn't leave the little one all alone, now could I? Ha ha ha! Well, by the looks of it, he isn't so little anymore. I'm just so glad I can free you two. But guys, it's not over yet. Just then, a storm sounded off in the distance. It's death. It has to be. On days 95 to 99, I rushed through the world following the storm until finally I met a clearing. On the other end of it was death and his army of evil spirits. Stop this. It's over. 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 It will never be over. You think now that you wield the elements, I'm afraid. I am death. From there, he then signaled his men, commanding them to charge in at me. They did in large numbers, but thanks to all of my elements, they didn't stand a chance. I shot fire, rain electricity, and shot down ice shards at them whenever I could. No! No! I took down most of them, and I could tell that the Death Reaper was surprised. Oh, what? Are you scared? No matter. He used his sight, which turned the entire area into a death arena. You want to fight, Cyclops? Fine, let's fight. On day 100, the Death Reaper flew directly at me and began attacking. I will not let you take this from me. I am finally seen as something more. He took off into the air, raining down his energy from above. I knew I could dodge his attack, but not for long. I had to get him back on the ground. Seen as something more? Reaper, the only thing that you are seen as is wrong. I sent a massive lightning strike towards him that knocked him out of the air. I followed up with a flurry of attacks, combining my fire and ice elements. He had to be getting weak. Stop! 
stop this at once! The Death Reaper sent out a large shockwave energy that shoved me back once again. Ah! Give it up, Reaper! You aren't going to win this! Do you not understand? I have been forced into the darkness for so long. Now you all shall know what it feels like. No, wait. Just as I saw my life flashing before my eyes, the Death Reaper got hit from the side. Ah, hoorah. Wait, Manny? No, Fozo! Hit him now! On it! I unleashed all of my energy from all of the elements I gained at once, delivering the final blow in a huge elemental force! No! No! The Death Reaper was now gone, and this world can finally live in peace again.